Now, if you look closely at the receiving end, because the first thing we're going to check is continuity. You find that RJ11 jacks do plug into the RJ45 uh, jack. I should say the port. RJ11s plug into the RJ45 jacks. And so we're going to turn on our unit. It's already set to check continuity, so we press OK. And all we got to do is press OK again to get the reading. Cable open. Something is not plugged in right. Try again. Well, that's what happens when you when you're filming live. What happened was this was not plugged in correctly, and that's one of the pitfalls of of plugging in RJ11 is that they don't fit. But now we can get a reading, and we can see that three, four, and five, and six, which are the center of an RJ45, they're crossed. Threes are crossed with six, and fours are crossed with five. So that indicates that this could actually carry the signal for two different phones if you had a two a two line phone. So now we're going to check for the length. Now to check for the length, you have to remove the receiving end. And you probably wonder how does something measure something with just the electricity? It's based on the concept of a reflection. Well, what's usually called a time domain reflectometer. They used to call hundreds, cost hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. But now, uh, this little $50 unit can measure length. It won't necessarily find breaks in the cable, but we can find the length. Now, we're going to change it to feet. That's yards and foot, so you get feet, meter, or yards. Then we go back. And we just press the button. And in a couple of seconds, we see it's actually 10 and a half feet. Now, if you wonder what those numbers are, uh, remember, this is supposed to read an RJ45 with eight wires in it. So it's saying that the pair, one and two, is zero feet because it doesn't exist on a phone cable. Three and six, four and five do exist on phone cables. It's 10 and a half feet. Seven and eight, the last two cables or wires are also zero feet. So we find that this cable, which stretches out to about eight feet, but when you consider the slack that's left behind, there's more, more room for stretching. So this is actually a 10 and a half foot cord on something that didn't even measure 14 inches across. Have a great day.